This is a video review of the upcoming Transformers Legacy Commander Class Armada Universe Optimus Prime. Here you can see he's in his vehicle mode. His trailer is attached to his cab. This is one of the most unique trailers I've seen for Optimus Prime, who's a cab. I like the big blue stripe on the side. A nice tank treads here. Nice big blue boxes on the sides. Really helps give it that chunky look in vehicle mode. Really like these blasters here, which are good for blasting Decepticons in vehicle mode. Uh, the cab is pretty interesting vehicle mode like the wide nose in front of the windows like the blasters that are smokestacks right here it's got sort of this play school feel to it that, at least that's how i felt when i had the original leader class armada prime but still looks very cool so yeah all in all pretty Unique looking vehicle mode for Optus Prime and very interesting vehicle mode. So now to transform him. Start with the base just so I can get this gun out. I, I did buy this early sample from someone online and unfortunately they didn't have the box or instructions for it. So I'm mostly going off Prime vs. Prime's video on how to transform it into base mode so and his configuration for base mode so to start get this tank part out here flip this up spin this around that'll make the later part easier get this open these flaps on the sides Just get these out. Just want to untap these flaps, and you want to pull this open. You may notice this part tends to come out of this hole. It doesn't really parts form or anything like that. You could transform it with that piece in the hole the whole entire time, but it tends to fall out really easily. So I'm just going to get this out of the way for now. And you'll see Chefatron and Prime vs. Prime mention it falling out on their copies as well. Fold these. What I do is get these tabs here into these slots here. You'll want to get this down. You want this tab to go into this slot here. Want to get these guns out. I want to take this gun out here. You want to fold this together. There's a tab here that goes up. And this is supposed to be in here and get this up and yeah. Well, not as impressive as the base mode for Fans Hobby Naval Commander or the original leader class Armada Prime, but still uh, fine base mode for the trailer when you've got Prime 
when you've got the trailer separated from the cab. Kind of reminds me of the artillery base that G2 Prime or Robots in Disguise Scourge had. The artillery base their trailers turned into. So, for the base, sort of, for the base robot mode, just need the cab. What you want to do, if you have the original leader class Armada Prime or the Bendy Prime, this transformation, you'll notice it's very similar to those previous Armada Primes. But there is a new part to this. You want to take this, these pieces here. Pull it out, not too hard because they can pop out, but gently extend them. Actually, you can just yeah lift it up by the sides and then accordion it out. Word. Again, just lift it up by this end here. Pull here. And do this gently because remember, these could pop out. And of course, you want to get the grill down here. Should pop into place once you get it down. It needs to go into these. Oh wait, get these tabs together. I'm gonna make sure it goes. All the way down. Yeah, that's fine. Take the shoulders, splay them out to the sides. Extend the forearms here. Do the same thing with the other side. Next thing you want to do is take the wheels. You want to take this piece. Now there's a tab right here. It goes into this. lot here but um you sort of have to do it blind but you should feel when it goes in so again untap this part these flaps up get the feet out Push these flaps back down, and then there are these kind of hard to see. Um, actually, not so much, but these little tabs here. You want to to untab these from the back of the shins. So just gently pull on it out. Want to like unrelease the side skirts, of course, and then unstick the feet together. And now, Prime versus Prime did complain that this crotch does split apart when you move legs to the side. I haven't had this problem too often, so when this does hit retail, I don't think it will be a problem. Nevertheless, here is. Armada Prime in his robot mode. So you can see it's pretty nice looking robot mode. Very interesting robot mode. He doesn't have the windows like Optimus Prime usually has on his chest. I like how he's kept his grill. I like these uh, Fox light on the sides, even though you don't really see them in vehicle mode. Um, I like the shins. Uh, de molded details on them and the silver paint in the middle of the legs. I like these blasters, they're pretty cool looking. I like the blue and yellow on the forearms, really gives it more 
color variation to the robot mode. Oh, I forgot for the back. Uh, originally in vehicle mode, it was. I did have this was supposed to be slide down here, but supposed to go back up. But nevertheless, it's a pretty interesting looking robot mode. Very cool. Now here's his gun. Uh, unfortunately, it's all modeled in black. I wish I wish they had like put some color in it, like make this part silver or white at least. Yes. I mean, that's how the original toy looked. Same goes for the fans hobby naval commander. You can tab this into the hole here. Now for comparison, here is Bendy Prime, which was previously the benchmark for articulated Armada Prime figures. Unfortunately, this forearm likes to slide down. Uh, not so with these. In fact, you don't need to slide these down at all. Unfortunately, it does leave the fist exposed. But it's better this way. But better to have it exposed than this blue part's constantly sliding down. And yeah, this was a very amazing figure for its time. Articulation still holds up to this day. It's even got like this ankle pivot. And goes up and down. Even though there was really even though most Armada figures at the time didn't age quite so well over time. In this As you can see another notable difference is this shoulders kind of look wonky on the Bendy Prime. They kind of go out more because of these blue hinges. Uh, not so here. They're more closer together, so it doesn't look so wonky. So I like that proportional difference. You can actually take the overload from Bendy Prime. It will fit in here, of course. Now, as for the articulation, um, got this nice double hinged bend for the elbows, which is really cool. Um, arms can go out, but you can't like get them to go up and then swing them out to the side here. It's got to bend it like this and then do that. It's, Wish it was a more universal shoulder joint, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, someone did say it does have a sort of an ab crunch due to the transformation. Yeah, you can like... Uh, legs can go out to the sides. Wheels might hinder it, but does articulation is there. It can go forwards, a ratchet joint. Uh, you can lift this back flap up and go backwards as well. Um, skirt only goes back this far. Knees, I think it bends. Just 90. It's got an ankle pivot, just like I showed with the bendy prime. It doesn't, but it doesn't quite have that um, toe tilting upward. You could. Except for the front of the toe, because uh, well, you can, but you got the fist moving back. Yeah, so all in all, okay looking base mode. Really interesting looking robot mode with great articulation, and especially those double jointed elbows, which don't appear on many Transformers Generations figures, even now. So, now to get him into his super mode. I do. Is... I'll take this. Open the flap up. And the knee, foot. Remember the... Now remember the hands rotate out the back of the legs 
rotates, and you'll rotate out the opposite direction. Let's get it back into, transform it back from its super mode. So remember, fists come out the back. They go into the back as well. You want to get the feet up here. It should cover this gap here. Of course, you want to close the side skirt. And you want to bring the shoulders back up, almost like you're transforming it back into his cab mode. Um, it's a tight fit. I'm kind of worried it'll bump into the head, which is something you'll notice once you get this in hand. All right, so I'll display these arms out right here. Then you want to lift this out. And believe it or not, this just stays here. You're done with that for the rest of the transformation. And want to split. You want to just very slightly split this apart. Don't apply much force pulling these apart because they're only supposed to go out. Separate these a little bit and then rotate these out. And then we'll take these shoulders, get them down. There aren't these tight ratchet joints. I'll do this slowly. I don't want to wear out the ratchets. So. You want to take the head, this out and up, and then what you want to do with the these little arms here, back. You want to get the Bend the elbow hinge like this. You want to take this tab, get into this slot here. Do the same on the other side. Arms out like this. The ears out. Do this gently. I remember my leader class Armada Prime, the ears popped out and I just couldn't get it back in and then they broke and then, oh god. Hate thinking about that right now. <laughs> That's why I don't want to show it. I mean, compared to that. So, all right, now that the torso's done. Transform the base into his super pants. So, get to these rods back in here. Again, you want to you take this out. That'll be easier. You want to split this down. To untap these. On one well, no, accordion, these boxes here. And this tab should line up into this uh, slot in the gold painted piece. Do 
get this down and this out. That'll form the heel spurs. Uh, do the same thing here. This down as well. Fold these down, they should tab in. Start to see the legs forming. Take this part, rotate it, so it clicks into place. Take this part, splay this down. Remember to um, get the waist skirt out a bit. This tab can go into this. Uh, Gap here pretty easily and make the leg stuck. Want it? And remember the part we took out. Well, to this to stick this in here and then these tabs will peg into these uh, circular holes here so he's got a big flap on the back get this part out um let's see then you want to take get this piece to this slot here. It can be tough the first time. Uh, it's not easy to explain how to do it. I think basically you want to get this silver part in between uh, these protrusions here. Have the slot this in. Then you get the push this red part down should slot into the chest like so take this red part get it out push this in here it's tough to fit in but trust me it'll go in and um hold on Can't get the, and this red part should close, unfortunately. Says. Doing that. I wonder if I got it all the way in. All right, and if you get it all the way in, this red part should close. Yeah, and here he is in his, uh, Robot mode, or super robot mode. Um, I know Chefatron when he did his review, it didn't have. He put all this back stuff up here. On ankle pivot, better stand here. I've got mine with the flap in the back, just like the Prime versus Prime video, and it is, and that is the way to do it. You can see. He does have that flap in the back, as you can see in this picture of Armada Optimus. Yeah, so, mm, very cool looking uh, robot mode. like this nice touch here. Put this on the back. The back doesn't feel as hollow as the original one did. Um, yeah, pretty decent head sculpt. I think the Naval Commander one... It's better, but this is 
vast, still a vast improvement from the original. Um, really like the blue and yellow arms, legs. Of course, blue is my favorite color, and the yellowish, goldish, yellow really make this figure shine. It's got this. See all the nice details, like the stripes that line up and uh, on the hood of his cab. Got the nice Autobot symbol here. Now, some people have said you can take this off and it'll form. There's a hole in it, and that's that's going to be a port for whoops, a port for Jetfire. Yeah, so. Oh no, very cool, chunky, beefy, imposing. Awesome super mode. It's for the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, can go up and down, look left and right. Um, Elbows can bend 90 degrees, so, which is, uh, so not double jointed like the base robot, but still more than the naval commander. Couldn't even do a 90 and elbows bend, do a full 360. Uh, this can actually, these elbows do actually go up, which is cool, and you can, yeah, get these arms out to the right like so. Something the base robot couldn't do. Can get this. Um, legs can go out the sides. Out. This. Actually, more than that. Yeah. Go out pretty. Go up a lot. Uh, go f forwards this much. Um, go. I think go backward as well. But we'll hit the. Flap at the back. Got the ankle pivot here. Um, no foot. Only the this part could go up, but at least it's on like this ratchet, so it's not like falling forward like that naval commander figure. So yeah, pretty cool looking beefy robot mode. I mean, the fact that you got the arms as part of the chest makes Optimus look bigger and come wider and bigger in combined mode. Now for side com uh, size comparison, here he is next to the um, fans hobby uh, Meg Tyreno. can see there's they scale pretty well they're about the same size now mostly doing this to show you guys that I have this figure not sure about messing with this on camera yet transformations not easy and I did have a hard time with that masterpiece jet fire all right it, and also, don't forget there was an official uh, Leader Class Megatron released a while back. Uh, this one is quite a bit shorter. So, yeah. It's only up to the shoulder because of this back piece. Now, I know there's going to be a new Leader Class. Armada Megatron, hopefully 
it's definitely going to be better. This one feels kind of wonky, especially with those orange shoulders. My camera on the stand. I, I've seen some people, so you can combine this with Armada Overload. So I'm going to try that. Now it can go into this red slot in the back. Uh, I didn't mesh this together on camera because... This is my personal copy of Armada Prime, and these are hard to get at the moment. So, but it does go in. Unfortunately, it does makes it kind of back heavy, so it will fall back. I think there's a picture on of it combined online, but maybe he's got to prop up against the wall so it doesn't fall over. But it does fit in nicely, so you may want to have it lean against something, at least until they make a more proper fitting overload because remember with the original toy these things go in front of the shoulders and they don't do that with this new Armada Optimus so and to get back into his uh, truck mode remember the last thing we did Get the... Then the red piece. Out. It's in. Get this off. this up rotate this whole piece back around Put this piece down here you want to rotate this back this forms the back of the trailer it's for the sides um these feet back up here accordion these blue boxes out Take this part, this down, get this red part in, take this, um, then you'll want to take this, um, get it into this position here, put this in here. What you want to do is take this, then there are these tabs here, which go into slots here, here, and slots here, here, we'll go into slots here, so I'm going to get this, uh, push this all together, oh wait, before I forget, it's easier to put this gun uh, right here now than later, so just make sure. You push it all together. These slots here. Um, these. This up here. Put them in this slot here. Uh, 
or I mean these slots right here. I right, push that in. Uh, close these flaps here. Again, you can get these. Uh, put these down. Move on to the uh, core robot mode. Um, or the last thing we did was get the these up here. So we want to just untab these here. Then this way it should free up you space to transform the legs back. So push the head back in. So, get this down. Remember, get this down and do this again, not too fast. Don't want to wear out the ratchets. These uh, together, we get up tabs tabs together nice and tight that way they don't come apart um, the feet together these tabs in on the back remember what I said earlier the fists uh, rotate hold on get the feet out Rotate out and in on the back of his legs. That's the dirt. That's the way you get his fists back in again. Before I forget, I should probably put the wheels into the correct position. It's kind of it's easy to forget about those. Oh, another part I usually forget. So early in the video, slide that down, and again, so. Um, yeah, plug the fists into the sides. Or some tabs, the forearms go. Right, and you want to get this grill back in, and then you want to Should also tab in to the front of the chest. You want to remember gently accordion these because these can pop out. And yeah, here he is back in his truck mode. So, all in all, this is a great update of Armada Prime. It's fully articulated, looks great in all three modes except for the base i feel like this is the armada prime i've wanted since i was nine years old if you and i highly recommend buying this um when it comes out for retail price or even quite a bit more than retail i do like this more than that fans hobby naval commander looks great in all three modes very interesting figure very impressive super mode very interesting and unique truck and robot mode and trailer as far as Optimus Prime figures are concerned. So, yeah. This is a great set. Yep, that's it for my review. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate that. That's all I've got for this review, even though it's 40 minutes long. Bye.